Hi everyone, it's Tanya, and I'm going to be helping you guys learn how to make some canvas art. Today's learning targets, we're gonna really work on building that community within our classroom, as well as being able to make some choices. There is um, opportunities for you guys to work together as a group to make some decisions, as well as you independently making decisions. Let's find out what we need. All right, the supplies you guys are going to need. Your classroom should already be equipped with, this is canvas, you're gonna need some different paints. You guys are also going to have a drop cloth in your kit um, to use around the room so that we don't get the carpet dirty. Oops, I dropped it. Some paint brushes. Yours may look different than what I have here at home. And uh, the other thing is there might be some tape in your kits. Uh, some groups may also have marbles in their kits um, and some box tops. So. Let's find out how to make this. The very first step that each group needs to uh, do is you need to have a little chit chat and you need to talk amongst your group and you need to be able to answer the question, is our room going to do this as a group project or are we doing this as individuals? If it's a group, are we doing small or are we doing it as a class? So stop the video right now and have that discussion because you need to know the answer to that question before you can move on. I don't think I actually put this in the, um, in the directions, but the real step one is that we have to take this plastic off of um, our canvas, if we have any plastic on our canvas. So there's the real step one. The next step one, if you are doing an individual option, you need to flip over your canvas. And on this part right up here, any of the sides, you're gonna write your name. Oh wait, that's a rule for everyone. So everyone, flip your canvas over and you're gonna write your name on the back. Not big, and make sure it's on this hard part by the staples. Sometimes we can see through if we put it on the canvas, okay? All right, step two. Those of you doing the individual option, you guys are gonna take your canvas and you have choices to make. This needs, we're trying to do a painting that kind of represents you, whether it's got your favorite colors in it, or maybe if you're doing individual, you guys can draw something on the canvas that represents you. Now, I would show you guys how to do this, but confession, drawing is not my strong suit. So maybe it's something like, like this, like maybe you just take a letter in your name or um, you could draw a flower that you really like or um, well, maybe it's a shape you like or all sorts of different things that you like, something that, that represents you, okay? That's one option. Oh, but we have so many more options. Well, if you're like me and you can't draw, Maybe what you're going to do is kind of follow the directions that everyone else is doing, but you just put the tape wherever you want. That's an option. Um, so it might end up looking something like this, a bit abstract in its art. All right. Um, next option would be, I don't remember what the next option is. I'm going to have to look it up. I'll be right back. I got it. The next option is going to be if you want to draw something, but you're not like, you know, not, not an artist, um, that's okay because maybe you want to look up a, a picture or an image and you could copy it or um, do some different things that way. Be creative. This is about you and having some fun and being able to tell people about you. All right, let's find out that group option. Okay, the group option. It's one of my favorite projects, actually. I love to do this activity. So you put two canvases or, oh wait, maybe it's three, four. You're gonna put canvases back to back like this. I'm gonna show you, flip the camera, show you on my table. You guys can do this project with 
um, a group that's larger than, you know, two canvas. But because of my view and what you guys are going to be able to see, I'm going to do it with two canvases. All right. I am going to use the tape and I'm going to tear off a long piece. And by long, I mean long enough to cover both my canvases. And I'm going to push it down. I'm going to keep doing that until I'm happy with the amount of coverage or kind of what it might look like. I'm going to do a time lapse and show you. Staff, you guys need to make a decision if this is going to be a staff, um, staff or students. Um, I don't know what each group is going to be like or how many scissors you guys might have or have not. All right, so we're going to cut these apart. Hey, guys, I forgot to tell you a step. Huh? And it's actually a pretty important step. Before you tape, we need to take a pen and write a number so we know what order they go in, okay? So I just did one and two. But it might be one, two, three, four. Doesn't matter. All right, this is ready for painting. I'm going to move on. Now comes the hard part of our activity, waiting, 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 waiting. So while we're waiting, um, why don't we talk about um, the idiom, watching paint dry. Oh, I wonder what that means. I'm gonna flip the screen because, well, well, we'll talk about why in a second. I lost track of what I was going to say. Oh, the idiom. <laughs> I get distracted. So Simon is actually uh, making his snack before dinner, or maybe it's an appetizer. I don't know. But what really distracted me was I was videotaping and my iPad fell off the stand and huh, threw me for a loop. Anyway, idiom. So an idiom is a phrase or something that is said that doesn't exactly mean what is said. So we're gonna talk about the phrase Watching paint dry. Hey guys, does that sound like fun? Like to watch paint dry? Hmm. We should ask Simon, just a second. Hey Simon, does watching paint dry sound like a good time? No. He said no if you didn't hear him. So that's what it means, you guys. It's things that might be boring or dull. Watching paint dry. Hmm. Waiting for water to boil. Um, things like that. Things that we don't really enjoy. So that's what what that idiom means. See if you guys can use it uh, at home this week. I'm gonna tell you what our last step is as we are going to pretend that these ones are dry. That is what? We're gonna pretend that these canvas are dry. They are not. I'm going to tell you guys, you guys are gonna probably be waiting until at least the next day of school, if not a little bit longer, because you really do want the paint to be dry when you do this. But the next step, we're going to be removing that tape. You might want to have a garbage handy when you do this. And you might want to also think about what was the order that you had it in when you put it down. So that's what one looks like. I'm going to, oh, thank you, Simon. Simon's helping me clean things up so we can keep going. I'm gonna, uh-oh, see what happens? Sometimes you have to pay attention to where you're, where they are, like which is on the top and things like that. Oh, I'm gonna run into that same problem. So I'm gonna take this one down. Oh, look it, it's a two for, two for one. All right, last one, here we go. All right, so two, 
And hey, Cy, can you pick this one up for me? Watch out, because the paint is wet. And we're going to show, we're gonna actually back up a smidgen. And we're gonna just show you, that's not the right way. Turn yours a smidgen. Is that the right way? No, turn it again. All right, now hold it right up to mine. You guys look at, the lines match up, the colors don't. But look at how cool it looks all by itself and together. You guys, just like these paintings, we are really great and awesome by ourselves. But when we put it together with all the people within our classroom or within our school, we are awesome and really great. I hope you guys have a fantastic year and I'll see you around.